Yashar, Jasher, 28. And in those days, after the death of Avraham, in that year Yahuwah brought a heavy famine in the land. And while the famine was raging in the land of Canaan, Yichach rose up to go down to Mitzrayim on account of the famine, as his father Avraham had done. And Yahuwah appeared that night to Yitzhak, and he said to him, Do not go down to Mitzrayim, but rise and go to Gerar, to Avimelech, king of the Peleshitim, and remain there till the famine shall cease. And Yitzhak rose up and went to Gerar as Yahuwah, commanded him, and he remained there a full year. And when Yitzhak came to Gerar, the people of the land saw that Rivka, his woman, was of a beautiful appearance. And the people of Gerar asked Yitzhak concerning his woman, and he said, She is my sister for he was afraid to say she was his woman, lest the people of the land should slay him on account of her. And the princes of Avimelech went and praised the woman to the king. But he answered them not, neither did he attend to their words. But he heard them say that Yitzhak declared her to be his sister, so the king reserved this within himself. And when Yitzhak had remained three months in the land, Avimelech looked out at the window, and he saw, and behold, Yitzhak was sporting with Rivka, his woman. For Yitzhak dwelt in the outer house, belonging to the king, so that the house of Yitzhak was opposite the house of the king. And the king said unto Yitzhak, What is this you have done to us in saying of your woman, She is my sister? How easily might one of the great men of the people have lain with her, and you would then have brought guilt upon us? And Yitzhak said unto Avimelech, because I was afraid lest I die on account of my woman. Therefore I said, She is my sister. At that time Avimelech gave orders to all his princes and great men, and they took Yitzhak and Rivka, his woman, and brought them before the king. And the king commanded that they should dress them in princely garments, and make them ride through the streets of the city, and proclaim before them throughout the land, saying, This is the man, and this is his woman. Whosoever touches this man or his woman shall surely die. And Yitzhak returned with his woman to the king's house, and Yahuwah was with Yitzhak, and he continued to wax great and lacked nothing. And Yahuwah caused Yitzhak to find favor in the sight of Avimelech and in the sight of all his subjects. And Avimelech acted well with Yitzhak, for Avimelech remembered the oath and the covenant that existed between his father and Avraham. And Avimelech said unto Yitzhak, Behold, the whole earth is before you. Dwell wherever it may seem good in your sight, until you shall return to your land. And Avimelech gave Yitzhak fields and vineyards, and the best part of the land of Gerar, to sow and reap and eat the fruits of the ground until the days of the famine should have passed by. 
and Yitzhak sowed in that land and received a hundredfold in the same year. And Yahuwah blessed him. And the man waxed great. And he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and great store of servants. And when the days of the famine had passed away, Yahuwah appeared to Yitzhak and said unto him, Rise up, go forth from this place, and return to your land, to the land of Canaan. And Yitzhak rose up and returned to Shevran, which is in the land of Canaan. He and all belonging to him as Yahuwah commanded him. And after this, Shelach, the son of Arpachshad, died in that year, which is the 18th year of the lives of Yaakov and Esau. And all the days that Shelach lived were 433 years, and he died. At that time, Yitzhak sent his younger son, Yaakov, to the house of Shem and Eber, and he learned the instructions of Yahuwah. And Yaakov remained in the house of Shem and Eber for 32 years, and Esau, his brother, did not go, for he was not willing to go. And he remained in his father's house in the land of Canaan. And Esau was continually hunting in the fields to bring home what he could get. So did Esau all the days. And Esau was a designing and deceitful man, one who hunted after the hearts of men and inviled them. And Esau was a valiant man in the field, and in the course of time went as usual to hunt. And he came as far as the field of Seir, the same is Edom. And he reman remained in the land of Seir, hunting in the field a year and four months. And Esau there saw in the land of Seir the daughter of a man of Canaan, and her name was Yahudith, the daughter of Be'eri, son of Ifer, from the families of Chet, the son of Canaan. And Esau took her for a woman, and he came unto her. Forty years old was Esau when he took her, and he brought her to Chevran, the land of his father's dwelling place, and he dwelt there. And it came to pass in those days, in the hundred and tenth year of the life of Yitzhak, that is, in the fiftieth year of the life of Yaakov, in that year died Shechem, the son of Noach, Shame was 600 years old at his death. And when Shame died, Yaakov returned to his father to Hevran, which is in the land of Canaan. And in the 56th year of the life of Yaakov, people came from Haran, and Rivka was told concerning her brother Lavan, the son of Beat Yuel. For the woman of Lavan was barren in those days, and bore no children, and also all his handmaids bore none to him. And Yahuwah afterward remembered Adina, the woman of Lavan. And she conceived and bore twin daughters. And Lavan called the names of his daughters, the name of the elder, Leah, 
and the name of the younger, Rachel. Rather, Re Rachel. And those people came and told these things to Rivka. And Rivka rejoiced greatly that Yahuwah had visited her brother and that he had got children.